I'm following Sai's lead. Well, are you putting and, some, and sometimes you'll end up on a dead end road with lots of questions. Are you putting an eye drops? The red yeah. dirt road. Are you sick? No, this is from uh, LASIK surgery. You got Card, LASIK? Okay. Yeah. When did you do that? I, well, I had it a few years ago. But I had it. And you're just now recovering? Well, I had it several times, LASIK surgery on both eyes. Then I had to go back in and get reconditioning in both eyes a few times until my eye doctor said, you don't have enough retina left for us to do anything. Well, uh, sorry, yeah. Was that expected or yeah, unexpected? Freaking out. That was <laughs> unexpected. No, no, but but my doctor said we're going to do it one more time, but it's going to be it's going to hurt. What? Yeah, and it's going to well, you asked me about my eye drops. Well, so you I were have just to doing eye them. drops right before we started, and you said, no, nah, I just had LASIK. And you're like, yeah, seven years ago. That's why I do it. Oh. Because I had LASIK. I didn't know you had such wacky eyes. I mean, I've looked into them before, and they didn't seem wacky. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit him for me. <laughs> I'll pay you no, back later. No, it is. Uh, no, it's just, yourself. I just had LASIK eye surgery, so I have to use eye drops for so the you're rest out of, of my you're life. You're out of retina? What what is that? Uh, no, what is, no, what does that it's, mean? It's like uh, I don't have enough cornea in the back of my eye. You know, you ran out of eyeball, just a little bit. He ran so out they of just cornea. kept shaving that sucker down until uh, it was like, right. all right, that's hey, all that's we can right. do. It's like taking your eyeball out and rubbing it on concrete, like a black top. You know, that's what it felt like. You know, when Jim. Carrey oh, and was, I could smell it. I could when they shot the laser in my eye. Si, remember you told me how, when you had your surgery, you were like, oh yeah, you you felt it. Thank you, Jesus. I, for no, good I didn't eyes. feel it. Wow. Well, I thought you said you felt no. it when they cut your eye. Oh, no, no, I had to apologize to the doctor because he was telling me there is no pain involved. Yes. And I, what I called him a bald faced liar right to his face. I said, hey, you're sitting there with a straight face and telling me there ain't going to be no pain involved and you're going to bust my eye lens? Bust it. <laughs> liar. I think so that's then I had to the go back term. and say, hey, doc, I owe you an apology. Didn't hurt. Hey, no pain. So are you? I t it was like a trip to the what Twilight Zone is what it was for. That's me. an everyday life for Christine. Oh, oh no, no. You. Hey, it was weird. So, so are your eyes? Because you're a young man. Yeah, I'm, I can see good. You okay. can see good. You're not like in trouble of having major eye problems later in life. Nope. Okay, I can that's see good. good. Perfect. You just got to have eye drops. Yep, I just got to have those eye drops for the rest of my life. He's which got, I made the deal. I was like, he's got dirty that. eyes. So, so he's got to wash them all the time. Do you ever touch your eye like Jim Carrey did in Ace Ventura and move it back and forth to gross people out? No, I did that as a kid. I don't. Can you I still could. do it? I don't know. I could try. Don't don't try. Oh, we had a friend. No, 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 no. Your fingers dirty. Oh, no, no, no. We had a friend that used to don't take do it. His, don't do it. Hey, no, no, I'm serious. I had a friend that used to take his out all the time. Take his eyeball. Oh out? yeah, a glass eye. He had a glass eye. The forties were different, man. Oh no, no! And, and look, it was it was, it was such a hoot every time he'd done it. <laughs> of course, said, oh, oh, my eye hurts, my. Eye. He says, "Oh, it's okay." Really? <laughs> now that's I that's, haven't had any. No, no. And everybody'd be just, whoa, 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 what we, what we, can we do? What we? He said, "No, no, it's okay." See, <laughs> it's your eyes are very important. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to watch yeah. them. Take care of them. Yeah. Not like your brother Phil. He did. He he didn't take care of his eyes very good. Okay, the medical people have. Oh my goodness, have they? You know, they used to be in the Stone Ages. Now they've you know they've gone into space. Yeah, space. all medical stuff. Not very often. I don't have a lot to add to a conversation. But <laughs> well, you, know, you never had eye hey, surgery. I well, no, you have, you I have had surgery though, haven't you? Yeah. Some kind of. <laughs> yeah, most of them below the waist, but. Oh boy. Um. I uh. Yeah. I, uh, my upper tier stayed pretty clean. I put on but, reading glasses the other day. But the only reason I was listening is because Brittany is supremely interested in LASIK. So that's why oh. I was listening to what I may have to be dealing with. Hey, would no, you do it's really good. Would you I'll, do it again? Yes, I would. And my wife like, is fixing to do it. I would just fix that. Hey, if she? you're you're having trouble with your eyes. She's not having trouble. She just don't want to wear contacts anymore. She's Our over, glasses she's out over, in the rain. She's over yeah. contacts and glasses. Yeah. Well, but then they told her like that it's only good for what 10 15 years something like that. Well yeah, that's like, why I that's... had to go back and get some reconditioning on mine. But now look, I'm 53 years old, so I do have to have reading glasses. But I mean, I would have to do you that. You get anyway. those ones like my dad that click between yeah. your eyes. The clickers. Yeah, yeah I like Bip. those. Uh -huh. Yeah, they they sell them right beside the rest here at Honey Hole. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> old dudes love them, man. I'm I like them. I think they're cool. Sad. I'm starting to have hey. friends that start hey. to like them. Like, I'm getting to that age. Side show. Okay. 
They went to eye glasses for a second. Well, let's not kid ourselves. Willie the other day sent his new assistant down the street to get a pair of reading glasses. So well, ain't nobody as young as him. Willie's going to be the kind of guy that has them in every. I put on reading glasses the other day, like the lowest strain, that I was like, mm, this helps. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like how it helped. I don't want it putting, to help. Putting these back. I've, I've got reading glasses in my vehicles and also in size vehicles <laughs> in case I need to read something while we're on the road. Man, but you would do it again. I would. That's okay. My sister had got it in high school because our eyes were so bad, and she walked outside, and she thought trees were like when you draw them, just a big blob on top of yeah. the stone. Oh, yeah. And she, she had saw never it. seen the individual limbs and leaves. My sister had never seen that until she had I was the laced. same way. Well, yeah. And like she saw it walking out the door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, amazing. And she's never had to go back, I don't because think. Because of cataracts, I was literally going blind and didn't know it. Everybody else knew it. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm serious. Your glasses were well, very good. Right. Yo, <laughs> I know I he's mean, driving. <laughs> yo. Hey, I saw, for the first time, I saw pine needles up in the tree. You know what I mean? The yeah. individual needles. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. Oh. That's, wow. That's wild that people, that that, yeah. Well, no, no, that's what the, the I guess thing. I take that for granted. That's I, what I, I mean, know. that's weird. I, I always, I went in the eye doctor probably six months ago. Or so, and I told him I needed glasses because I thought my left eye to me is trash. Like, and then so they said, All right, you know, whatever, we'll give you a vision test. And then I went through it all. And the doctor was like, Why are you here? I was like, Because I can't see out of my left eye. He was like, Do you realize everybody in that lobby out there would kill to have your left eye? What was, what, like, what was your was, vision? Oh, remember? It was, yeah, it was still 2020, is what it tested. Well, no, no, 2020. Like, 20. I was like, when I, but my I, left eye is trash to me. Well, like I was told by the hearing doctor. You know what doctor, causes that? What? Birthdays. Yeah. Oh, well. I was told by the hearing doctor, hey, your, your left ear is all it's good for is hanging your glasses on. Yeah. Said, <laughs> he, yeah. Did he really? No, no, upstairs. He said, you, you, know, you ain't got nothing hearing wise in your left ear. He said, all it is, it's good to hang glasses on, you know. And he said, now that you don't need glasses, I, it's useless. Well, That's why you and always he, sit to the right of Christine. Well. Uh, Cause you left well, no, 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 my mama had that. <laughs> my mama had that right when she, you know, talking to daddy one day, and she said, he said, you know, you didn't hear me, and he said, oh, I heard you, and then she came up with, Robertson men have selective hearing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they only hear what they want to. Hear. <laughs> That's probably all men, don't we all? <laughs> uh, that you 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 can take gender out of that one. <laughs> That's just like, the human race. Yeah. Bunch of selfish suckers. That? Bunch of selfish people. <laughs> biblical, man. It's biblical. Is it? Biblical. Hey. I don't know what to tell you. But I don't you know would, how we you got would totally do it again. So that's interesting. That's I would. and Alicia's about to do it. She's about to do it. So I'll I'll yeah, I'll have a fresh cut I can tell you about. So would you recommend now this is weird. I know this our podcast is so wild. You never know. We're talking about LASIK for crying out loud. That's why we're in the you reckon, category. Would you, number two. Well, would you recommend like waiting longer, oh. like to the last spot, since it is only no. like a ten or fifteen year to get it no. done immediately? No, I'm with I immediately. If you I have just, eye trouble, yeah, all right, go get it done. It's yeah. so nice. You walk out into the rain and you and you don't have to take your glasses off and you know oh. clean them. I mean. I never thought it, about people in the rain with glasses. Oh, yeah. And then uh, here's we're living Uncle down Doug. here with all this humidity. I guess they fog up probably yeah. still. Well, Hunter over there shaking his head as he's yeah. looking through his glasses at our So screen. this is how we found out that I needed, uh, uh, that I had any eye problems at all. When I was young, my dad took me squirrel hunting. And he said, he, he handed me the gun. He said, son, shoot that squirrel right there. And I said, what squirrel? He said, do you not see that squirrel? I said, no, sir. He said, unload the gun. And took me to the eye doctor. Uh, uh, that's yeah. how I really. I just didn't know. Well, that's, that's why crazy. the saying came from, uh, hey, "Oh, you can't see the trees for the forest, <laughs> or the vice versa." The or you can't for see the, the forest for the trees. <laughs> Too close to your work. Well, it's, yeah, you just you know, cause like like you told me. Yeah. Yep. And I couldn't see the squirrel. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I just never have dealt with that. That's no, crazy. That's why I've told everybody since I've had cataract surgery, I've had guys say, well, I've got them, but I ain't going to do it. And I said, hey, look, you're stupid. You're being stupid. If you've got cataracts, go get them removed, and then you'll just – Welcome to a new world where you can actually see for crying out loud. And look, I got something to, this is news breaking to y'all. This is the latest rumor about Psy off of social media uh -oh. and the internet. Oh, we got a new one? 
Yeah, it's a good one too. And what is it? Are y'all ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. Sai has had a facelift. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the secret is out. Sai, you had a facelift? No, the secret is out. Yeah, they lifted it completely off and then rearranged it. <laughs> where, where was that at? <laughs> On social media. They said Sai had a facelift. No. Oh, yeah. I love it. Sai, did it hurt? Huh? Did no. the facelift hurt? No, I didn't even know nothing about it. Oh. I wonder if that's because you don't wear glasses anymore. <laughs> Maybe. It's got to be that, and maybe you can see more of his face now. Mm-hmm. I looked up, so I had a facelift on Google. And what did it say? It says Martha Stewart addresses critics who say she has had plastic surgery. I don't. Were you with Martha Stewart? <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google Cy si Robertson. If you were, I'm jealous because that means you're probably with Snoop Dogg. No, I was with Snoop? Paula Dean. Oh. That's true. We cooked. We cooked a pie. I'm more of a pioneer woman kind of fellow myself. <laughs> hey, we went there, but we didn't get to meet the lady, the mm. woman. Well, we tried. After that winding road, to well, segment one. Hey, leisure, oh, baby. Wait, Actually, are you coming just... to Oklahoma? Huh? In Oklahoma, the woman cooker? Yeah. We met her. She's yeah, got a name, and it's the pioneer woman. Don't so, I know, but disrespect so I, her. I wanted, I wanted to well, get her on the phone and talk to Johnny D, but. I didn't get a chance to do that. Well, no, don't say you ain't met her. We well, we met there. her, yeah. We went there and she had come to the table. Everybody's got a celebrity crush. And Mine's asked, and asked was the food okay? And I said, no, it's horrible. That's true. You call yourself a cook? <laughs> you bite your tongue. <laughs> uh, she loves that. <laughs> <I. laughs> she love redheaded it. too. <laughs> ah, I love it. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is say something against somebody and then they get all bit out of shape. <laughs> I don't. There's a. You can say what you want about many humans, but you can't say things about the pioneer woman. Sure, I can. She's off limits. Hey, no, sure I can. I can say anything about anybody. So. That's probably if true. I feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, get us to our uh, the leisure break. I tried to. Y'all blew right past it. My bad. Blew right hey, through it. Hey, we blew the break. Boys, we gotta just trudge on. Yeah. We crashed the gate. Have we already yeah. taken a break? I asked Connor. Hunter, have we taken a break? <laughs> no, we hadn't. Let's take a break, Hunter. You know what my favorite song right now is? Oh. <laughs> this is my new favorite song, Martin. I thought we were doing something else. Go ahead. <laughs> no, this is my favorite song. It's about when uh, Cy si forgot Christine's birthday. <laughs> Philip knows mm. every word. I haven't memorized it mm. yet. Mm. I've been playing it in my truck. <laughs> now I, I'm letting everybody else enjoy it. Are I'm ringtones still a thing? Can we make that a ringtone? <laughs> oh, he got <laughs> it, and now he's paying for it. Oh, that is the best. That was the best Christmas present we ever gave, Martin. <laughs> that was a good one, and the cool thing is, you know, we got that other holiday coming up where you can really like songs mean a lot for Valentine's Day. Uh, best so, gift you can you give. Like they don't have to be joke songs. They'll oh, write you right. a love song. Yeah, if that's what maybe you propose with it. Like say, Hey, here you go. I wrote and you a song. Listen to this, and then <laughs> she turns around, there you are on one knee. Like, I, I think I'm gonna do it because me and Allison met in the Raisin Canes, and that just sounds like a beautiful love song. Ooh, that is a Raisin good one. Cane, it dang hey. sure sounds like a country song. <laughs> so I can give you that. But no, Songfetch is the ultimate gift to show how much you care, and it's the ultimate gift for somebody that you have no idea what to buy for or that has everything. Let me get. Let me tell you what they don't have. A song. What's that? Don't, yeah, ain't that's nobody right. got that. Nope. About forgetting your wife's birthday? Yeah, unless that's you right. dated Taylor yeah. Swift, you don't have that. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's just a wild deal. And Songfetch walks you through a simple four-step process to create an original song. All I have to do is tell them about who the song is for, provide some details, and let them know the type of song you want. So if you want country, rock, rap, I mean, they got it all. It doesn't matter. Then you pick your favorite Songfetch artist or get matched to one, and they'll pour their heart into writing, professionally recording, and producing your original song in just four to seven days. Songfetch even has a worry-free guarantee, which lets you revise and fine-tune your original song's lyrics for no additional cost. Because your song isn't perfect until it's perfect for you. They have extra special add-ons. You can get it in vinyl if you want to. Or like you can get that. one of a kind art created from the lyrics. So. And how cool would it be if it went number one? There you go. <laughs> your song goes number one. Yeah. Hey, 
That's hey. a cool thing. Look, you can even <laughs> add your song to streaming services so you can more easily surprise your unexpected recipient. This is the best song ever. <laughs> and it's right there on Spotify, which I'm always on every time I'm in my truck. So I don't want to admit how much I've listened to this. All right, look. You need to get me a vinyl record of that where I can bust just it over your Spotify. head. <laughs> Why don't okay. you just have Spotify? No, you know, no, the, the, you the old man. I want it in vinyl. So yeah, well, I that's the only way you're going to be able to listen to it. The, the, song, like it, is, the right. song is great, but the look on his face when he realized it was about him <laughs> when we played it for him. Yeah. Classic. That was way better than any song could ever be. But and that's, that's what, no offense to the artist, hey, but that's what you're going yeah. for when you get a song yeah. fence song. That's the reaction that's right. you want by giving this as a gift. And you loved it, didn't you? Oh, no. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Made him laugh. Yeah. Made him it smile. Made him laugh, I saw a single tear fall from this. One head. tear. Song Fitch is the only original music platform that guarantees that you'll love your song or they'll work with you until you do. They stand behind their community of talented artists and every original song they create. And there have been over 300,000 of them. So don't wow. sleep on this. This Valentine's Day, put your heart on the line with a studio quality song that's totally unique to your relationship. It only takes four to seven days, but the song will last forever. Yeah. For <laughs> It'll ever. leave your legacy. Philip, <laughs> who, who all, I know, because Philip's big into this kind of stuff. Who all have you played that song for? Right now about <laughs> Everybody I know. I mean, and my you, wife did you loved play it, at it the more poker than game? anybody. Your no. wife loved it? Yeah, my wife loved it more than anybody. And she had to listen to it more than anybody. She said, uh, are you going to make one up about me? I said, yeah, how we met in aerobics class. Oh. Ooh, jazzercise right. <laughs> back in 1985. Yeah, that sounds like something we can do some That's steps right. to. I like it. <laughs> for a limited time, Songfitch is letting our listeners upload their song on Spotify for free so you can listen to your new favorite song anywhere you go. Go to songfitch.com slash dot and start your song after you purchase. You'll be prompted to add Spotify streaming for your original song for free. That's a $50 value. This offer is only available for our listeners at our special URL, songfence.com slash me, 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 duck. That's just a regular duck. <laughs> or just duck. duck. No. That's S-O-N-G-F-I-N-C-H dot com slash duck. Don't oh, wait. Man. Get started now. <laughs> Here we go. Have y'all ever looked? I don't think it was a long road. The top no. charts of leisure. It is wild. It's what? What are you looking up? Top charts? We're number two in leisure, and I'm looking at all the other ones, and leisure is a weird podcast. What are you looking on? <laughs> on the top charts. Well, on that silly cell phone? I mean, no, what chart are you looking at? Top chart. The top chart. The of, top chart. A podcast. Did We're you, number two. Did you Google it? In our category. No, it's just on the podcast. I gotcha. Go to podcasts, go to top charts, and you click on leisure. Sometimes we're number one. Today we're number two. Those Dungeons and Dragons. Those, no offense, Hunter Nerds. People are love really, dragons. Dragons are cool. Oh, no, they but love the, them. The rest of them are like simple farmhouse life. How do you listen to a podcast about organizing called The Clutter Bug? The Clutter Bug? How do you listen to somebody organize their home? I mean, well, you say what you want about us randomly well, talking about hoarder, <laughs> or If you're a hoarder like Kay is, hey, you need to listen to Because that's who's going to sit. Oh, you know, that's Kay's going to She's going to listen yeah. to the podcast. You know what I got 45 minutes to do? <laughs> listen listen to, to about the clutter bug. Not clean. Clutter bug. <laughs> <laughs> There's the frugal friends. Oh, now I like friends. that. I could probably be a guest on that one. What? Tales from the Dragon. That's from sigh. the Stinky Dragon. The Funky Smelling Dragon. Oh stinky my goodness. Dragon. That's terrible. That sounds like something. You he needs to get on. what I just seen a commercial about that. <laughs> what? If you if you smell funky, you get chunky or something. What? Oh, then, I buddy, said I'm, it was a commercial. Then, buddy, I must stink. No, no, oh no, because it said if you smell <laughs> funky, you get chunky. Was it chunky or skunky? I think it was skunky. Did you dream this yeah, last I, night? No, no. This was a commercial. <laughs> There's two podcasts about decluttering. Sorry. <laughs> if you smell funky, it gets skunky. That's what it is. That's what the commercial said. Was it about whole body deodorant? Uh, hey, it was, about, uh -huh. it was about smelling funky. You don't think that's a brilliant idea? Just a body I, wash that's also deodorant. I don't know. Hey, okay. We, we discussed this in length hmm. on the last episode. I'm sure you listened. Um... But yeah, the leisure category is either all like <laughs> dragons or wolves or board games or 
I'm going to call them 27 year old women. Well, that's why they won. Stay they at home moms. Dragons. We need to have dragon. weird hobbies. Uh, dragons are cool. I've got a dragon. And us. I got a dragon on my knife. And I used to have one on my <laughs> on my jacket that was silk. <laughs> we heard about a that. A fire breathing dragon. That's, that's back. What, that's, that's back in your day. Hey, oh, that was the day. That's what got me my woman, boys. Is my fire breathing dragon. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking. So about. don't knock dragons. I think dragons are cool. I'll fix that. They are. Hey, you can't just, don't be knocking dragons. Do dragons exist? Huh? Well, sure they do. Do or he, did? Hey, there's one right there. That's a picture. He's saying. Such as the Black Panther. Do do, hey, do dragons... Were dragons ever on Earth? Yes, dragons were on Earth. Fire-breathing dragons. Interesting. How did you think man come up with fire? <laughs> he called him a, a fire-breathing dragon. Fire! Tell him, hey. You know, all the time... All he had to do was just pat him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> then he had him a fire. I am normally 100% team Psy on everything. I'm going to disagree with you on this one. Hold it. <laughs> I don't, Have you lost your mind? Black Panthers, yes. Dragons. You don't put all. No. I'm Is your problem with the dragon or that they I'm breathe crushed. fire? The, they breathe fire. Oh, <laughs> and you I'm just, crushed. And now, you just said there was like a T-Rex. Sure there was. We need to investigate it. Oh boy. You say there's T Rex, but they ain't a fire breathing dragon. Now. You know what? Now that you put then it you that think way. About it. Yeah, think about it. Hey. Now that you put it that way, I right. guess a pterodactyl right. could have breathed fire. Hey. We need to win. That would have made it. Jurassic Park three way cooler if the pterodactyls <laughs> breathe fire. One and two stay the same. Three, that's a notch up. But how would you breathe fire? I'm going down this road. Yeah, why not? Glands. How do they hey, make? How do they? We're going to need to call the number one yes, hey, major look, podcast. Yeah. A fire breathing dragon has got gas in his gut. <laughs> I think. Okay, he's and right. all he's got to do is spark it, boys. And hey, there you go. Well, so where does the spark? How do you spark? Hey, the teeth. Hey, the teeth. Te oh, take your teeth together. So, oh. so they have metal teeth. Hey. No. Hey. Mm -mm. If you hit anything hard, they enough, could have. Yeah, they could have. You have a very. I mean, it's just as likely they had metal teeth as they breathe fire. So I, I'm just. Saying. They have very strong hey, jaws. I mean, if if we're gonna live in a fantasy world, let's go. No, no. What it was is they had a bite of lava. Lava. Oh, okay. Oh, they ate lava and they, then. That's right. And held hey, it in a. It pouch. gave them a gut problem when they ate it too. I'm gonna need whatever y'all are on. <laughs> well, you, you, a good you, you night's sleep on a earlier. great mattress. <laughs> whatever, um, hey, whatever we're on, give me another shot of it. Yeah, I'm. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I love it. You boy. pour me some of what's in that jug. It's I, just the joy of the Lord. It oh, seems like I'm entirely too sober to be here. But, <laughs> um, it's oh, 9 a.m. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's biblical too. Um, oh, Y'all won't be up way too early. Okay, He's John Davis, look up oh. a bombardier beetle and its and its ability to produce hot chemical spray. My computer is still broken. The ability to breathe fire. Wait, a bombardier beetle? Hey, oh yeah. What? <laughs> hey. No, it is. Not. <laughs> it says no. It is not possible to actually <laughs> breathe fire. Let's run with it. Philip, you paid off your last ER visit yet? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it no but, more. But was it expected or unexpected? It was unexpected, and you know that. I'm... Unexpected medical bills are the pits. That's true. Are there any expected ones, though? I don't think so. I you mean, can't get ready for it, really. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just a weird deal. And as we're rolling into a new year, rest assured, at some point this year, you are going to have an unexpected medical mm -hmm. need arise. And I, I'm noticing that, especially now with children that that's it's even more likely to happen so uh the cool thing is there's a way that's biblical to take care of all that and that's our friends over at samaritan ministries with samaritan ministries you can align your health care with your faith members glorify god above all else and care for one another through prayer and encouragement and through direct member to member sharing you'll always know who you're helping and who's helping you so that's really cool like Gives you a way to say thank you, put a face to the name instead of it just, you know, showing up one day. Samaritan Ministry started in 1994 when 10 households began sharing one another's medical bills. 
Today, there are 80,000 households across the nation that share $30 million in medical needs each month. Since there are no networks, when a medical need arises, you choose the right health care provider for you, and you have a say in the type of treatment that you receive. Then you just send your medical bills to Samaritan Ministries, and they'll notify fellow members to pray for you and send money directly to you to help you pay those bills. And when another member has a medical need, you will do the same for them. This is not insurance. It's assurance that you're part of a health care sharing community where members care for one another spiritually and financially. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Beth, uh, our producer, said that she ran into some folks that actually used it, and they ended up sending money to somebody that they knew in the you know through oh, wow. the network and that's really cool because then you you can put faces to names and mm -hmm. you know that it just makes it really cool when you know you're helping somebody and then it makes it even easier to accept the help when it comes to you so yeah. that's a really cool thing when the body of christ comes together to pray encourage and provide for one another burdens are lifted and god is glorified check out samaritan ministries and if it's the right fit you can join today let them know you heard it here by going to samaritanministries.org slash duck that's SamaritanMinistries.org slash join today. Join today. Don't miss it. What is your favorite extinct animal? Si? The, what is it? The bomb The bombardier beetle. The is that bombardier extinct? beetle. I think so. <laughs> Look, we don't have any answers. <laughs> Look, we're making this stuff up as we go. This is the worst episode ever for my computer to work last night and then not work. I can't uh, fact check anything. Smack it around said. a few times. Didn't work. Anyways, my favorite extinct animal oh, is go. the six foot or eight foot sloths that used to roam the earth. Wait a minute, we still got them? No, 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 we don't. I guess we do. No, they're very extinct. Australia, Australia, our mates have got the sloth and trees over there. Mates, see in your face, Hunter. Hunter. Time out. Time, hey, time, time, out. Out. time out. Time out. Went out. Went out. out. Call Matt or Google. Time, time out. Hey, time out. put another now, slot I don't on the bar. Know a lot right, right. about mammals of the world. Uh oh, Martin knows something. He's Are biology. there sloths in Australia? No, he I'm, said I, six to eight foot sloths. I understand that, but so I say no. Australia's got them. I thought this was like rainforest stuff. So I'm gonna right. go with you. I think there probably are sloths. I think the only thing there. that lives in trees in Australia is like a koala. Well, there's one of them. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, a sloth also lives in trees. I understand that. I just don't think he's from Australia. My favorite part of this whole episode has been as soon as I mm -hmm. asked what everybody's favorite extinct animal was, Hunter uh, had one. And it's because <laughs> he's sloth. thought about it before. The sloth. Hunter's oh. also the guy that hijacked a first date conversation with a red panda. Yep. So, like, why would this surprise you? I mean, this is not. Wait a minute. There are red pandas. There are red pandas. They're called, uh, what's the name of them? Red panda? No, no. Uh, what is the big red red uh, monkey? Orangutan? Orangutan. Orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> there are, hey, look, there are sloths in Australia. Okay. In the Adelaide Zoo. There you go. Oh, in the zoo. <laughs> hey. Well, hey. In the zoo. I didn't have to say I, in the what, zoo. I just said they was in Australia. I just assumed that they were rainforest animals. That's what I thought thought of them as. You are correct. Sir. Okay. Well, where's the All rainforest? Right. In South, South America. America. Okay. Central we're only, America. That's the only rainforest we got in South America? I think that's probably why it's called the rainforest. I, I'm going to say. It with, don't rain in any other forest? <laughs> not, year, <laughs> not year round. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold now, up, now up, you got to educate me. Now you got to educate me. Okay. PBS, Martin. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. What is a rainforest, Martin? That's right. There what is go. a rainforest? I would... Because I was under the impression oh, a I... rainforest is a forest yeah, when it rains. Yeah, it gets rain. <laughs> well, in that case, in that case, Phil Pot Road is a rainforest. <laughs> it's a rainforest. That's, <laughs> that's a gar. Hey. <laughs> Nottingham Forest, also uh, a rainforest. Yeah. I don't know. I guess. Right. What is a rainforest? Y'all have blown my mind today. I'm so right. short. Hey, we done blown fuses fun. today, boy. But I don't. I'm, what do we have a list of extinct animals? I'm not sure what. I mean, a woolly mammoth. I know that. I I know the dodo bird used to be here. He's yeah. extinct. Saber tooth tiger. That'd be a cool one. Saber tooth black Ooh. panther. Ooh. Oh. Hey, could have been. Right. He or that little been. squirrel from Ice Age. I bet he was tight. The what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, cartoon. Uh, a cartoon. You ever seen the movie Ice Age? It's gonna, it's full of a bunch of extinct animals. You know what? For all the movies you say you like, like Westerns. Come on Grit, 
if you ever sat down and watched Ice Age, I think you'd no, be really. I, I hadn't had watched that. I think you'd be really happy. It's, no, it's too cold. Or Moana. Like if Sai were a it's modern day movie character, I'd put him as Hey Hey, that chicken from Moana. <laughs> No, like the I whole, want to the be, whole world loves him, and they don't know why. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want to be the rooster. Well, he may be a rooster. I never, I never checked up. What's under the rooster? Would well, foghorn leghorn? Uh, leghorn. Foghorn leghorn. Good answer. Yeah. Hey, me and me and, the, said, me and the rooster said, uh, and the hawk. I, what? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that one when he had the yeah. little hawk. He's talking about chicken OG. Hawk. He's yeah, talking about OG hawk. Looney Tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. said, I said. Back when the yeah. cartoon yeah. characters smoked uh, cigarettes. Uh, yeah. boy, that's why boy. He, that's his kind Listen of here, boy. Yeah. Pay yeah. attention here, boy. boy. Now pay attention. Yeah. That? Back when chickens smoke Winston's, you know. That's it, boy. That's right. Now they just dance around and you know have dogs building houses and stuff. So, uh, Beth just sent me the fifty extinct animals. Number one's a dodo. That's a dodo. Uh, there you and go, number si. two's a zebra. A zebra ain't extinct. A zebra. It's a actually zebra? A, it looks like a zebra. Apparently, it's not a zebra. It's something else. Can you ride a zebra? You can one hundred percent ride. Oh, a wagga. Yeah, a pigeon. Uh oh, what kind of pigeon? What the sea? Oh, oh, African oh, black oh. rhino. I bet that's cool. The golden toad. The passenger pigeon. He's kind of lame. Four hundred different types of monkeys. Hey, there's a oh, duck. There's a duck. Where's... Ascension crake. Have you ever killed one, Martin? A uh, who? I don't know, some type of duck. That's a loon. What I'm gathering from this, man, is birds have taken it on the chin. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Birds and reptiles. Yeah. And fish. Oh, that's a medium. I thought that was hunter sloth, but that's a medium sized lemur. (laughs) A medium (laughs) sized lemur. I'm officially team woolly mammoth. Sloth. Put your favorite, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, put your favorite extinct (laughs) animal. I've got a new favorite extinct animal. You do? The snake with legs. A lizard? Ooh. No, a snake with legs from Ooh. the Garden of Eden. Ooh. Satan? Hey, a snake with legs. <laughs> but he ain't extinct. Well, that that that, that snake with legs. One is. day. Oh, well, yeah. Now he's just a regular. That was a regular. distant cousin. Crawl on your belly from now on. That was a distant cousin. Oh, small Mauritian flying fox. I bet okay. he was cool. Oh, we've lost Martin again a, due a to flying uh, fox. Oh, now you got me. Now I'm back trying to just re okay. a list the biology hey, on his phone. I'm Look at to number twenty six. Brain wires. Uh, due now. to it, torrent frog. A uh, what? Due to it, torrent frog. I like the reunion owl. That's kind of cool. <laughs> hey, that reunion owl. Cool. He's got a cool name. The reunion owl. There's a bunch of giant tortoises that ain't with us no more. I oh, guess yeah. turtle soup's a si, real there's thing. a flying fish with a mustache you'd like. <laughs> hey, Groucho Marx. <laughs> Who? Groucho Marx. Do you really? I think I think a great <laughs> thing to do is I have, can't get off of this list. I want Sai to watch children's movies and report back. But after seeing that, when we were in Mexico, Brittany did, I did pay $20 for her to get a picture taken holding a ringtail lemur. That's kind of cool. There's only twenty dollars. Yeah, guy come walking down the beach with him on his shoulder. Apparently, it's a hustle. I but, need a pet monkey. Know. Just to... then, a guy walked up with a big old snake, and all the women scattered like Ooh. you ain't seen lately. Ooh. Mm. I wouldn't do it. I've yeah. got a question. Talking about paying for some stuff like that in the Bahamas, you and Godwin got your hair braided, and and uh, like a Jamaican braid. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Was that expensive? Yeah, it was expensive, and it hurt. Because I ain't have no hair anyway. Yeah, I was about to say, how did you get your hair braided? <laughs> I've seen I don't know, but oh, it, was, it was cool get looking. Your hair braided. They pulled it tight, and then the lady was like, that's 160 I threw like 50 bucks on it and walked away. I was like, huh? For, for 40 minutes, you ain't getting 160 Sorry. Um, 160 <laughs> bucks? That's what she said. For a haircut? It, it that's up, why it I ended do up, all my own hair. It ended up being a haircut. By the time I got all them rubber bands out my hair. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad deal there. There's pictures Whatever. of it somewhere. Yeah, there's pictures. What was y'all thinking? No, we were drunk. Oh, oh no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> now, no, that I'm kidding. makes sense. No, Jeff was doing it, and I was like, man. Be- oh, if Jeff's doing it, why not? I oh, know. I thought, man, this would be kind of funny to take a picture of us all together. <laughs> and then. So, si, what about Jeff doing I think it? Jeff paid full price. Yeah. Jeff, sure. Jeff was like, well, he oh, had of course hair. he did. Well, he had money, too. Well, so he had the right last name, and he didn't have much sense. <laughs> what but year was this? I don't. Two thousand thirteen, probably fourteen. I don't know. 
It was on one of them cruises. It was on I the Duck that, Commander cruise. Okay, I, yeah, I, nah, okay. You were on the cruise, but you didn't get off. I, didn't get, I didn't get off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. got, I, 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 I snuck out of that. I still don't know how. Both of them? I never went on a Duck Commander cruise. Oh, you didn't go on it? You That's didn't wild. Miss nothing. No. Huh? It was about a gar. <laughs> That was a gar hole. <laughs> let's actually oh, let's me. take a break. No, and I want to hear hole. about the gar hole that was oh. the Duck Commander cruise yeah. that people paid a lot of money to cruise with you. Yeah, I love the gar it. hole. You want to know why I feel the way I feel today? You got caught in a helix last night. No, I fell asleep <laughs> on the couch on uh, accident. Uh-oh. Oh, just wow. not the same. And you had a nightmare. Yep. No, uh, yeah, I had a nightmare that I wasn't on that that's helix right. mattress. That's it. There you go. You got yeah. it. So when you got a bed that that is that good, you got a mattress is that soft? Is that, is that perfect? Is that tailor made for you? And it's not like you got it yesterday. You, we've had them a while now, and right? I ain't going nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not worn out. It's it's been slept on. We're, I plan yeah, on dying yes. on that mattress in 55 years because it's so tailor made and perfect <laughs> for me. It's made me a homeboy. I mean, I want to get home to get in my bed. What was the movie about the guy flying around on a carpet? <laughs> Aladdin? <laughs> Aladdin. That's what it made me feel like when I slept the first night. Wow. I thought I was turning a into whole Aladdin. New world. I thought somebody had rubbed side. a bunch of lamp. We're all talking about Helix Sleep, and Helix Sleep <laughs> is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. They offer 20 unique mattresses, including an award-winning Lux Collection, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, holler to boy, and even a mattress made just for kids. And now Helix is bringing us their most premium mattresses yet with the new Helix Elites. And every Helix Elite has a built-in cooling cover, thousands of supportive coils, dual cushioning layers, and even lumbar support for a truly elevated sleep experience. And after spending a week on hotel beds, I was glad to get back to mine. <laughs> Amen. Yep. Uh, and you know why? Because I took a quiz and I got a mattress made for me. I Not didn't anybody get... else. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like... what you like and what you need, sir. There you go. Martin, when I took the Helix Sleep quiz, it asked me my height, my weight, how I sleep, what I like, what was soft, firm. But how many people? How I many remember that one. human beings are in that bed? Yeah. Two. Anywhere from two to seven in your house. And I got that Moonlight <laughs> Lux, baby. Moonlight. And it's perfect. I love it. Moonlight Lux. It's so simple. It's like a two-minute quiz. Find the perfect mattress for you and your personalized mattress ship straight to your door. Free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial to try out your new Helix mattress. Because everybody's unique. We all sleep differently. I'm a I'm a back sleeper from way back. I'm a back sleeper on a fluffy cloud. No, I need the floor. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I need a rock. And well, that, they got both. And that's why the mattress it needs to be tailor-made. There you go. And that's why you end up with moonlight, midnight. I'm a moonlight the, kind of fellow. All the things. You name it, that's what you can end up with. They have memory foam layers. Models will more responsive foam to cradle your body. Enhanced cooling features keep you from overheating. If you need a little extra TLC. They have a hybrid design combining wrap steel coils in the base and foam layers at the top to give the perfect combination of comfort and support. It's the best mattress we've ever slept on. And the coolest thing set up fast and easy. You open a box, cut the thing open, and they're delivered in a box straight to your door for free. Don't take our award for it. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress pick by Wired Magazine. It's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine. and go-to solution for improving your sleep. Helix Masters American Made come with 10 or 15 year warranty, depending on which one you get. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck and use code HELIXPARTNER20. <laughs> Philip found a twenty four seven buffet floating. Hey, yeah, no. he's in. Uh, a That's carnival true. cruise is nothing more than a floating CC's pizza. I loved it. <laughs> oh, CC's is good. <laughs> 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 You can at least find something at CeCe's. You're like, you know what? I'll go back on that. That mac and cheese pizza's at CeCe's. Yeah. So the, you thought the the Duck Commander cruises? Were, I didn't get to go because I made okay. up excuses hey. and got out of it. Hey, big boat. 
Okay, yep. it's huge. A very big boat. Okay, and they're very big. And we went from one end to the other end yep. and back and forth. Lots all, of walking. All the time. For, for, and they that, like to kill me. And Cy was doing a lot of meet and greets and events okay. here, there. Yeah. That was, that's why it was a gar. But I like story time when Martin and Godwin and Oh, yeah, we read, all the, the, we read to all the kids. We, me and Godwin read, like, good night stories to the kids or something. Yeah. That's kind of fun. <laughs> what? We were entertainment on the dip. I don't know. Cruises, they're just not my thing. No. You're, I don't, you're a very I don't, captive audience. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Too captive. I don't, yeah, I don't like that. Um, and I thought it may be different when you're the entertainment and not just visiting. No, it's not. No. It's no different. No. The only difference was we had security guards. Like We had a whole floor of mm -hmm. the boat to ourselves, basically. So we had, which I mean, still, that didn't make them rooms no bigger. That's the problem with the crew. <laughs> it's a very small room. So I had a pretty pretty good size room. And I still though, compared can't to... and I still can't shake Titanic if we're being honest. I mean, you, oh, know, you were on. afraid of icebergs in the Caribbean. Not icebergs. <laughs> I'm just saying, how do they make that much metal float? <laughs> it don't make much sense to me. As a I'm man always, who understands physics and yeah, mathematics, I'm it is still it turn it over upside down. It's it's just, like yeah. It's just yeah. weird. Like yeah. them them Air Force uh, aircraft carriers, how do they store that much stuff mm. on metal that floats in the water? I don't understand. It feels like it should be heavy enough to sink. And it you're feels living, like it should go hey, straight to the bottom. No, and you're living underwater. No, I ain't doing that. Oh, no, you are. No, I'm top deck. Uh, no. Yeah, send living. me to the Lido deck. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the top one. <laughs> I think yeah. so. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely as high up as I can no. get. Yeah. I ain't most, going down. Most of it is underwater. What? Yeah, most, most of it's of not underwater. Yes, it is. That's an iceberg. No, not a nope, cruise ship. Nope, that's a ship. No, <laughs> I'm pulling it up. I don't have a pull it up. Check it out and see cruise ship. There's a lot of uh, underwater. There, uh, there's think, a lot, but you said most. I liked well, it hey. because all the all the stories. I mean, there's a lot of story times, and then and then there was a lot. What are you looking at? How much of a cruise ship is underwater? Now, half think, of what, it. What does it say? Around 10% of a cruise ship is below water. Is that that doesn't feel like enough. Now I'm nervous. See? Yeah. All right, yeah. There's but, never going to be a duck call room cruise. I will we say. We would all panic. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. We should do it. No, we shouldn't. But just like on a <laughs> pontoon boat. Well, that's called a booze cruise. <laughs> on, on like Caney Lake. <laughs> that's something way different. I'd have, I think Low Key Phil enjoyed it. Oh, one hundred percent. Because Phil, Phil had Phil yeah. Miller. No, Phil Robertson. Whoa. Well, Phil. Yeah, I think he did Phil, too because he baptized five hundred. Well, that's people. true. Phil had a floating baptistry and fifteen thousand people that couldn't go anywhere. He had a captive <laughs> audience. Fifteen hundred. So, or however many. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, what was it about hold, the cruise that you you didn't like? Was it too many people? Because you were going from event to event to event every day. He worked every day. Well, no, no. So that's, that's what it that's was. That's all you need I wouldn't to start. Mind, I wouldn't mind doing what I'd done. It was getting there. That They literally, we went from one end to the other, back and forth. Hey, yeah. just make it one place. Right, yeah. Oh, that's before Cy si swallowed his pride and started requesting them wheelchairs everywhere. If you could have <laughs> rolled hey, into them places, he'd <laughs> oh, been yeah. all right. Hey. You know? He don't walk nowhere now. Yeah, if he'd have been treated like he's in the airport right now, uh -huh. wow. Well, yeah, that's fine. true. Look at oh, I can see that. We right. need wheels at gate B24. Oh, you wheel, you, you're wheeling in the airport now, aren't you? Uh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm oh, talking yeah. about. I don't walk anywhere because I can't. Yeah. The Mexican customs got weird the other day for me. Why? I didn't read the rules on the amount of tobacco you could take. <laughs> hey, Willie. <laughs> I, Willie, I thought I was going to oh, get arrested. Oh, this is dip, right? Mm-hmm. So what happened? He just, he really had a question that I would dip that much in five days. I said, buddy, I'm here with nothing to do. Yes. Half yeah, my job yeah. when I worked for Willie was just to be his secondary dip hoarder across, <laughs> <laughs> across, uh, I don't know if Hunter's country comfortable lines. with leaving this in there. No, I, I love, yeah, here's what I whatever. do. It, Cause in the airport, all I do is watch. Yeah. Cause I'm pushing him. Yeah. yeah He's what watching. Else, what else you got to do? Well, no, no, but I'm just saying, and hey. I, it's I like a roller coaster. You're not going to run to Chipotle. some of the stuff that the human beings are wearing. Well, then, buddy, you don't need to go to a Mexican beach. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm serious. Because oh, apparently no. inflation has got bathing suits, too. Oh, yeah. It's twice as expensive and yeah, half as much of them. Yeah, bathing suit has went from. Uh, uh, they treating them things like Christmas tree yeah. cakes. They just keep getting hey, smaller. Everything is a string now. 
Oh, God. I'm serious. And the human being keeps getting bigger. It don't make any sense. That's true, too. Yeah. There are way too many people shopping in the Husky department in Speedos. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) I have a Duck Commander Speedo. I'm glad we never seen it. Real tree. For real? Real Mm -hmm. tree. Camouflage Speedo. 100%. 100%. Hey. Will you please wear that? No. Why not? Every once in a while, I'll break it out as a joke, like on vacation. <laughs> if we're at the beach, I'll just pull it out well, the bag and be like, going, hey, Allison, this is the suit is of the day. wrong, break out that. Why do I want this? That's right. Break the Duck Commander out. Speedo? Yeah. Somebody sent it to Willie, and you know, I showed it to him. He's like, that's ridiculous. And I was like, totally mine. I'm going to sell it on eBay one day. Ooh, used. <laughs> and before you put it up, holler at your boy. That may save you a transaction fee. I for sure have it. I have a picture of it somewhere. Praise be. I oh, it. God. Hunter, would you wear it? It wouldn't fit, Hunter. It's my, it's our size. Oh, it's okay. It's big boy size. This computer thing's got me all out of whack. Hunter, just go ahead and show this to the people and just let them all know that it belongs to me and I could break it out at any moment. And it's for sale for the right price. Also, it will not yeah. belong to me if somebody offers me probably like 100 bucks. <laughs> Martin, you got a hundo on you? Not after this trip. <laughs> he said, no, that's just chip. I'm going to have to recoup some funds. <laughs> he just went up on all the storage products. I, I keep waiting. I keep looking. I think it's oh, sorry. Come. I sent it I'm to waiting Hunter. too. Oh, I okay. Know. Uh, my bad. My bad. There ain't just, a picture of him in it. It is? It does. Yeah. Look oh. at your phone. No, it's no, not. He, he just got the. the yeah. Oh, Sorry, would you wear that? Goodness uh, gracious. No. Front of it says turbo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was in Max 5, then I'd wear it. You think they have the juxtaposition of the tree branch right in the middle? I think that's a little spot oh, on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the edit. Uh, that's rich. Oh, it's got a white under. No, we can't share that. All right. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Change the subject. Change the subject. Well, Let's take a break. We'll be Thank you. right after. Uh, hey, hold on. Let's get. Come on, roll. We're not reading emails. Let me see the picture. We're gonna see. You so you. We went to break and we're all looking at a picture of a Duck Commander Speedo right, and Martin saying, "What is the bid, boys?" Martin said fifty bucks <laughs> for me to wear it for an episode. Do yeah. I have to wear it a whole episode? I'll add. 100. Well, I mean, you can you'll put, add a hundred. That's one fifty. You can put shorts on I'll over add, it. I'll, I'll no, ain't no. Shorts I'm saying over after it. you walk in, I just it, have to right? walk in. Just walk in. Stop right here. Hold on, Beth's giving us look. Hey. Beth said, "Oh, oh no, that's not happening." Yeah, no, oh, yeah. I say you just walk in and show it. No, hey, stool, and then you walk in and pose. No, Good. stool may let me see Little John or something. I ain't trying to. No, we ain't. I'm just looking for. <laughs> well, I'm Robin looking. Hood had a friend named Little John. I guarantee bow, you. Bow, bow, he, I mean, he's a big old boy. Bow. But ba boom. Anyways, I'm saying, Johnny D. Well, it's up to 150. I'm right just now. saying, like you walk in. Hey, I'll strutting. put 50. That's 200. That's 200. How, how that's about 200? I'm. Yeah, I got 200 bucks. <laughs> now it's four. Then you the, putting yours in? You no, put 200 no. in. The oh. man wears a Rolex. Money ain't really oh, okay. his but, thing. But, oh, sorry. but pride is. If there were, I would do. I would take an ice bath in that speedo. Uh oh. On YouTube, if you raise money for something. Oh, How about the side poker what, but, fund? Yeah, no, not doing that. You ain't doing that at all. Good for a thousand bucks, I would go. I would. I will. For myself, I'll. I will jump in to an ice bath wearing just that speedo for on, a grand on YouTube for a grand. I'd do that for like five hundred if it was going personal. But you'd have to make a, like a full video, like preparing, getting ready. No, the video be made right here. We'll buy one of them hundred dollar <laughs> ice baths off of. Uh, we got an ice machine. A- Amazon. Oh, hey, that ice bath. It's rough. Hey, I know. I did one. I just the, did one well, recently. He's stay, in too. Did you stay a full minute? I made it 45 seconds. But no, you have to, got to stay at the full minute. Yeah. No, full I'll, minute. Full minute. Yep. I'll do that in the Speedo. Y'all figure out the money. <laughs> I'll do it in the Duck Commander Speedo. <laughs> With what, what's on the front of it? A thousand bucks. I'm just keeping <laughs> yeah, it myself. It, it says turbo. Turbo. Okay. It also has the duck the on the turbo. front of it. Yeah. Featuring John D. in the turbo. <laughs> the only problem is I don't know that I can. I ain't got much of a butt, and I don't want it to fall off. <laughs> well, and our ratings are going to go down. Hey. Yeah. It's a family show, you That's weirdos. That's the end of the leisure. <laughs> I don't. We got to swap categories. <laughs> That's right. We're going to switch categories. I'll boys. definitely pull up wearing my my pillow robe over it. I okay. tell you that much. Oh, oh, hey, oh, I used, oh, we used right. ours last night. He's going to be like a we big wrestler. Out. Come out and take it off. 
And this hey, corner. Like, like the mass, mass of singer. Yeah. Golly. Take it off. Take it off. I just, you have no idea how much I wish I'd have had that and then just went strutting down in Mexico with that thing. <laughs> Should have called me. I've never worn it. Oh, oh, man, oh, well. I, d- I had no idea that existed. I mean, there's no, because no, uh, no, uh, I would uh, have. All right, you want an email? <laughs> yeah, let's email. It. One email. You know, while on the subject of Speedos and leisure, mm. uh, someone emailed in with the head subject line, parenting and religion. <laughs> oh, well, that's a lot better topic. What, what an interesting podcast. Um, Cody, <laughs> what, no, Tanner from Cody, Wyoming. How about okay. that? Yeah. Uh, he had, there was a lot of first names there. Wyoming's not one of them, but Tanner and Cody are, um, just became a young father, 22 years old and needing some direction on how to raise my son right in today's world. I've recently lost faith in the religion I was born into, but my faith in God has remained and gotten stronger. I was just wondering if you thought being part of a religion is necessary for raising my son to have faith in God, or if I need to go myself back into a church crew. Any and all answers, criticism, are welcome. I think you got something mixed up, bro. Run it. What was oh, the end of that again? How did he say that again? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. He. He lost faith in the religion he grew up in. Well, hold on. I agree with him because I, I've lost faith in the religious world. Okay? Yeah, but it's not in Is religion. He's, t- no. he's lost faith in the church he grew up in. That's, yeah. that's what he's saying. Well, I Somebody think- heard him there, and now he's upset. Now he's like, I'm just going to do my own thing. Because, look, the religious people can lead you astray in all kind of directions. you know. So I would say, yes, seek, first of all, God and Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Because you could go into so many other directions, you know, and and it's a danger, really. It's a it's a good point. He said it the way he did, because we've taken the human race has taken the word religion, and it's it's not what yeah it's supposed to be. That's right. Okay, so I understand when he said I've lost my I lost you know. But here's but the not thing. in God. He hadn't lost faith yeah. in God. He said. Here's the thing, okay? That's why Phil has been saying it for years. Get off of the name. Yeah. Get off of the name because there's too many of them. Right. Okay? Yo, and you need to just, if it's to simplify it, who established the church? Jesus did. Well, then, hey, there ain't but one. Right. Because they ain't but one Savior. Yeah. You know, so right. I understand where he's coming from about he's lost his faith yeah. in what we call religion in the human race. Because it's not what God is. Okay? It's three of them. God, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. And they're one in everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, hey, don't, you know, and you said it, sir, when you said, I haven't lost my faith in God Almighty. Okay. So, I, yeah, I'm going to fail on that. We need to get rid of the name. And if people ask you, you know, what do you believe? I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I want to try and run with people that believe the same yeah. thing that I do. And I want to get my kids involved in some church structure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's important to so, me. So here's here's my, the way he says it, or if I need to sit myself back into a church pew, I think he's like, I don't like church, but I love Jesus. And everybody probably gets there at some point because the church is full of imperfect people. Yeah, correct. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus is the only perfect person. Even Peter and Paul would have upset you at some well, point. Well, that's oh, yeah. why I, will, I should have said it clear. okay? Don't put your faith in the people. But at the same time. they're going to fail you. Right. Keep your faith in where it should be. Yeah. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, because they're not going to fail you. Yeah. And at the same time, you're a 22 year old new dad. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to make it by yourself, big dog. Right. Yeah. No, you need those people. Like, so, like uh, we have each other in our lives. You son, need people in your you life. You need to tell your son and train your son. Let him look at creation. <laughs> you know. And, and and tell him about hey the one that created it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and live his life for him. Because hey, look, every he's done everything for you. 
Okay. So all you got to do is just focus on him. Right. Yeah. And so I think it's important too, because you need to get those kids involved in Bible school, you know, learning and being around other kids and, and you need to be around other young parents. Well, you know, the and thing about it is, okay. is like our education system. Look, the education system needs to teach it all. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're that's not the going same, to. That's the same thing about God. Give them, give it everything. And then, hey, let him decide. But you teach him everything. You know? Yeah. Don't, don't limit it to, okay, here's, here's, here's the real way and the only way. Okay. You know, so, you know, just, you know. But, hey, look, focus on the Almighty. Yeah. Focus on the Almighty, but you need people around you. Well, and if I didn't have, hey. and if I didn't have people like Martin in my life, and you know, Martin might need some advice from me on some things because I had yeah. kids before him. Well, it Bible, ain't an easy route. So, what does well, the Bible say? Test the spirits. No, to see where they're from. But it does tell you to also be in community. Yeah. There it is. Like yeah. That's, yeah. Don't forsake. That's what it. I'm getting. That, yeah. That's and I think yeah, I think that's where Johnny D was getting at. Like just because you got. Burnt by some Spurned church, yeah. some church or some member Go somewhere of else. some church. Disappointed you. Don't start That's making right. Facebook yeah. posts about the yeah. one thing that you think you got right and everybody else got wrong. <laughs> but but need, what I'm saying, you need people. You around need community. You. Yeah, right. you need community. And whether that's in a church building or you start something at your house, where yep. on. Friday nights or Saturday nights, you get 10, 15 of your buddies and people that are in the same circumstance you are together, and y'all read the Bible and study Scripture and come up with your own things of what you think it means. That's cool, too. It doesn't matter. Just do it. You can't do this alone. Can't right. do it alone. That's, that's what I that's cannot biblical. do it alone. That being be said, Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all mm -hmm. your heart and lean not on your own oh. understanding and all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. If you're confused about what you need to do, open the Bible. God's already talked to you and told you. It's all, all right. right there. Yep. Start reading. You'll figure it out. Amen. We'll see y'all next time right here. Good feedback. Here on the Leisure Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>